Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So viewer question today. Storing rackets? Have you been out of the game for so long, you're pulling a racket out after an extended period of time, five, six, 10 years? What would happen to that racket in its strong form? Stay tuned. All right, so my buddy Joel Lee um, has a question for me. Here's the question, actually. Um, I was wondering if you could do a video on whether leaving a racket strung for an extended period of time, six months to several years, would damage the structure of the frame, given that the structure is not broken and the racket is made of modern graphite or other advanced materials and stored at room temperature. Okay, so that with all the elements will actually be the perfect element. So what do I mean by that? Okay, so a couple key things that he said, okay? Storing your racket in room temperature. So basically, you're putting your racket, hopefully in a closet that doesn't get too hot, right? Where a human would occupy, would definitely help secure that racket and keep it from, you know, warping, right? Like people, you know, leave their rackets in the garage or in an old car or who knows where it is. Like I've seen rackets with cobwebs on it and, you know, layers of dust that were, you know, basically left in a storage area that is also occupied by rats and squirrels, those damn birds and other varmint that also inhabit it with that racket. So as long as, like Joel says, it's in doors with human people, right? That helps a lot. So room temperature, extremely important. But, but here's some other factors though. Usually graphite will not warp or, you know, change shape. But there are exceptions though. One of the exceptions is, I'm gonna show you right here, one of Fed's rackets here. Remember when I did Fed's racket and I measured his with a regular pro staff and it came out to be about, um, about a quarter of an inch, almost a quarter of an inch shorter. Well, that is because that's gut on the main, that's ALU on the cross. Why is it shorter? The gut is holding better tension than that ALU, rough. So why, so why is it shorter now though? Well, because it, gut is holding tension more, it's pressing down this way more. This has lost tension, therefore it's kind of give way to the pressure pushing down this way. So that's why it's kind of warped. If I were to cut that out, I would say 80%, it'll probably go back to its shape. But over time and over too long of a time, it probably or may not go back to the regular length. So depending on the string too, um, guys, uh, will depend on if you should leave the strings in there or could leave the strings in there or you should cut them out. Um, I would say if it was a full bed of the same string, right, and at the same tension, you can definitely store it that way, uh, especially if you don't care about your racket that much. But if you care about your racket and it's like a collector's item, you know, I probably cut the strings out just to be safe. You know, just just go like that. Just snip, snip. 
you don't even need to take the strings out if you don't want to. Um, just make sure there's no pressure around the hoop. Um, that's only if you, you know, let's say treasure your racket, okay? If it's going to wind up at the goodwill anyway, then it really doesn't matter. But, um, you know, but if you plan on playing with it, um, I don't know, a couple years down the road, I mean, I've been seeing a lot of people who bring in me like 10, 20 year old rackets now. And I'm like, yeah, go buy a new racket, right? So, um, but like hybrids like this one, just like Fed, we got poly on the main, synthetic on the cross. Uh, if you were to leave this for an extended period of time, this rack is going to be taller instead of shorter because the poly is going to give out tension before the synthetic will, and it's going to compress this way. Therefore, it's going to be longer, right? But skinnier. Okay. So, so my answer uh, to your question is if it's strong with the same, same strings at the same tension all around, you're probably going to be fine. If you have a hybrid, if you have a hybrid, uh, cut it because it's going to be more tension on one side than the other. If you treasure your racket, just cut it out and then go store it. Okay. Hope that answered your question. Thank you for the question. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.